My business is about the scent of nature and my passion is to give city dwellers a garden in a bottle. My name is Nicole Thomas and I'm a botanical perfume. I guess I can't walk past a plant without smelling it and it often gives me inspiration for new aromatic creations. It just gives a whole sensory experience. <laughs> I wanted to give that sensory experience to city dwellers and so that's why I moved my business here to the Block Arcade in the centre of Melbourne CBD. Initially I studied aromatherapy and I thought that I'd needed to extend my skills in that way, so I made lots of trips to France and Paris and studied uh, botanical perfumery there and also went to the south of France and studied soap making and also was exposed to many beautiful gardens over in Europe. Paris traditionally is the, the home of perfumery. I discovered that it was the home of synthetic perfumery as well. Um, which is quite different to what I do. Uh, you know, I work with plants, plant essences. I guess it's important to have a scientific background, to know the molecular structure of essences, but I also think that to be a, a real perfumer, you do need a nose and you do need to, to have an artistic flair. After my perfumery studies in Paris, I came back to Australia and I really wanted to put my theory into practice and so I started a, a small business and I just started to hone my skills and practice and, and make things and I know the first day I opened the door I was terrified um, but year after year, experience after experience, uh, the business grew. I am fierce about having Australian suppliers. Uh, we, we try to source a lot of our essences from Australia. We source our lavender from Tasmania, and it's uh, lavender um, angustifolia, which is English lavender, and it is the most aromatic. In addition to our Australian essences, we do source a lot of essences from all over the world. Uh, a lot of things cannot be produced here. We source uh, frankincense from Africa, bergamot from Italy, and a lot of essences from France. Most people think um, perfume comes from flowers, but it's not necessarily the case. It comes from all sorts of sources, um, and our essential oils come from citruses, like oranges and lemons and grapefruits. It comes from woods, from spices, from resins, frankincense, or myrrh, which are very traditional, old and biblical essences, but they're very beautiful, and they form a base note in a perfume. The citruses would be top notes, so they would be the first things that you would smell in a perfume and they give a zest to the perfume. We all know the classic scent of lemon, but in perfumery it can be derived from a whole series of different origins. It can come from obviously fruit, it can come from grasses, lemongrass, it can come from gum leaves, like you know, citrus eucalyptus. It can come from a whole variety of different essences. There are several types of distillation for essential oils, but probably the most common one is the steam distillation, which is done in a steam distill. And it mainly is flowers, example, lavender, uh, leafy plants, lots of herbs. Rosemary is also distilled via steam distillation. I guess we're entering into the realm of aromatherapy. There are a lot of different essences have different effects on your emotions. So the relaxing ones may be lavender and geranium and chamomile. Some have the opposite effect on your senses. They uplift you and inspire you. The citruses have an uplifting effect on your senses. The oranges are very enlivening and inspiring and warming. And a lot of the woods are very calming. I believe that having my business connects people with nature and the scent of nature. So effectively, I'm putting nature into a bottle for people.